Halo, this little set is the Mega Constructs Halo Forerunner Ring Installation Display Model, basically desk display model for collectors. In this video, I'm going to show you what this is all about, what it looks like up close, and also explore the fan question that is surely going to come up. What can you possibly do, if anything, if you build this and then add another one? Naturally, with Halo Infinite being the focus right now, this is intended to be a piece of Installation 7. Although with, you know, the rings largely being rather similar, you could, you know, rearrange things a little bit and make this, for you, represent a part of any of them. You know, you could take it back to whatever was your favorite game from the series or your favorite location, whatever. Uh, one little thing about how this stand is done here, right? it's this big square. It's looks rather oversized actually for the small chunk of actual halo ring that's included here uh the the two little little struts here are actually terminated by ball joints so you can angle this over it actually looks oops i actually popped it out of those no i did not uh you can angle it over it looks a little bit better like that especially on a desk if it's kind of facing a little bit towards you but basically you know you build up the base with a layer of the trans blue plates there and then bricks underneath tiles on top and it's pretty straightforward it's almost a shame that you don't get to see that much of the trans blue and it doesn't let a whole lot of light through because it's a really nice effect when you do get just a little bit of of the the gleam and glare of it but that's how it is let's take a closer look at the little details though and there are plenty of little details with a lot of different shapes used some different colors Obviously, some stuff is intended to represent Forerunner tech. Some of it is suspended in air. Some of it may be orbiting the station uh, or represent some actual powered tech that's going around and, and patrolling it. And then you've got different colors used for different types of terrains. So you've got green terrain, just plain dirt areas as well, and some mountainous areas that take us up into the snow zone, the tiny little little barbs that stick out they're kind of rubbery pieces they're intended to represent trees and foliage and stuff and there is one interesting piece i don't know if you recognize it right there in the, the center of the screen you know it's a one by one plate but it's it's shaped interestingly just around one side so it ends up not being just the most basic you know plate with a with a hollow stud on the top of it most of these do have hollow studs so you can stick those little parts little tree parts various places this could actually represent a little bit of ice here just the way that the marbling is done in that plate I'll just straighten this back up there we go uh, ice or just flowing water and I, I think flowing water makes a little bit more sense and you know with the the earth like m class oh sorry wrong wrong uh <laughs> wrong franchise uh, designation of of the halo rings with them being habitable and all uh, i guess just you know having a lot of blue water makes a lot of sense and then this is just used up here to terminate it to add something a little extra so it doesn't just stop immediately overall this is to me rather small again and especially with the base being as large as it is it just makes the the little section of ring that we get here feel a little bit underwhelming to me personally i did enjoy putting it together uh got a little bit of detail on the underside as well so it doesn't look particularly bad from from other angles you know if you don't have it against a wall but overall it's it's pretty straightforward um and kind of small except for the base so to help try to remedy that i went ahead and bought another set like i said and then i built this little section here just my own design just using the parts kind of randomly looking like a little bit of industrial complex there and you know each of these marbled marbled plates will have a slightly different design so you know kind of angle things the way that you want so this is just one segment and then i put two segments together here again a little bit of industrial slash tech complex you can just imagine pipes going across and there's a gangway there and again river coming by little changes of types of terrain get a little bit of elevation once again just to make use of the parts and the way that this is all designed you may need to change what's going on underneath just a little bit for this to fit together but uh, just basically offsetting uh, a plate or so it's it's very easy uh, i did not use all the pieces from a second set i didn't even use 
all the pieces from the first set. So I had parts left over from the first set and then I did not use all the ones from the second one, but there we go. So obviously that's a doable thing. That's what you can kind of expect, generally speaking, in terms of overall size and presentation. If you buy two of this set and then don't do exactly the same thing with the, the build for the, the second one. You could potentially do exactly the same thing if you just want to follow instructions, but I feel like that would look relatively boring. And it's a lot more fun and, and interesting to come up with your own thing. And it doesn't need to be canonical, but I suppose you could pick a particular scene and try to replicate that to the best of your ability. But I just found it very challenging and interesting and fun to look at what pieces that I had available to me and use them and try to create things that would make sense to me, like where I could imagine missions going on there in a tiny, tiny, tiny little microscopic scale. But this looks better, doesn't it? Uh, the only problem here is that it, the, the radius is kind of tight. Um, so this, this gives me almost, uh, almost a half a ring. It's, just, it's like more than a third of a ring. So if you got, I think you would need to get three more of this set to, to create a complete ring. And I don't know if it would connect properly. I believe it, you would be able to get it to connect uh, to, to form a full circle, but it would be much smaller looking than a proper halo, but it is doable. Uh, and the stand is up to the task, at least so far, the taller you get, the more it'll be kind of wobbly, but there is apparently enough friction in there, at least so far for it to work as long as it's in a, a relatively vertical orientation. Uh, otherwise you might need to put a couple of stand, a couple of sets of stand parts together to to give it a little more strength and to stop it from going side to side. But just, yeah, that's the general idea. I think this is fairly successful. It's a, a pretty good design. It's just that the default build with a single set doesn't give you a whole lot. Here's just a, another way to put those same sections together just to show you a little bit of potential variety. Maybe that helps you understand a little bit better what this looks like, different angles and such. Yeah, that's that. So again, for its size, I feel like the default set, which you actually get in a single box, is a bit pricey. And most of that comes down to the fact that so many of the pieces are one by ones, you know, and not even one by one bricks at that, but like modified plates. So that really, really reduces the overall size, the completed size of what you get here. You put multiple together, it starts to, look, to very quickly look much cooler and it becomes a lot more fun if you don't follow the instructions and you just look at the pieces, you enjoy the amazing variety of parts that Mega has available, just you know, reusable things, try to get creative with them, try to get creative with a story for the terrain itself, you know, like creating a mountain range, you know, maybe try to create one that, that is, is continuous or a longer stream or, you know, where would a particular battle occur or something like that. And you can use the pieces and, you know, just playing around building at that scale is very enjoyable to me. I, I like that. I don't get a chance to do micro and nano scale stuff enough, and I would like to do more of it. The parts included in the set are good. Of course, if you do buy multiple sets, you will end up with all the parts for an extra stand, which you won't really need. Uh, at any point, like I said, you can use a couple extra struts if it starts to become too unwieldy, if you add more and more and more on there, but you know, those end up being mostly uh, just leftovers for other things, I suppose. But yeah, that's that. A little bit pricey, definitely small. Stand feels much bigger than it needs to be. I think that's about all I have to say about this one, so I'll move on to the next thing and talk to you again soon.